Hey guys, uh, welcome to the RC shop uh, this week. And what you see here in front of you is actually the, it's box number three or mystery box three from RC four wheel drive. They're doing the, the three mystery boxes. Uh, this is actually mystery box three. It's the $350 one. Um, so just this just came, just showed up at the door literally probably 10 minutes ago. Uh, I've had it long enough to pull uh, pull the label off and whatnot. Um, so first things first, it is pretty light. In fact, the label that was on here, it was, I think said it was four pounds. Um, and this is probably, you know, 12 by 12 by 12, maybe 13 by 13 by 13, but basically a square foot. It's a little, uh, it's a little underwhelming considering this was $350, but who knows what's, who knows what's inside here, right? That's the mystery. That's the whole, the whole thing about a mystery box could be anything, right? Um, so I've got my uh, got my knife here. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and open this thing up, and we'll we'll see what's in here together. This did take a little, a couple extra days than it was supposed to to get here, but I, that's I think that's due mainly to uh, holiday shipping. You know, I don't think that was RC four wheel drive's fault. I did pay for the extra. I did pay a little extra for the priority shipping. Um, but again, I think that's just due to the holidays and it more has to do with the United States Postal Service than it does RC four wheel drive. Um, but let's go ahead and open this up and we'll kind of go through it uh, piece by piece. Um, first thing we got is some exciting brown paper and a lot of it. Half this, I would say, yeah, uh, at least two thirds to three quarters of this box is just paper. So we'll start at the top here. What do we got? Um, I don't even know what this is for. Let's see. Uh, Oh, it's a Y harness for uh, Tamiya connectors for lights. Um, it's actually not a bad thing to have. I could uh, probably end up using that at some point. Um, what, what do we have here? Uh, wide, straight rear axle shafts uh, for a RAF, um, which I don't have a RAF, but I'm actually thinking about getting one. So this might actually end up being used also. Um, let's see what we got. What we got next here? Uh, Predator track front axle fitting kit. Uh, yeah, I'll probably never ever use this. So this will probably just sit around the shop somewhere to look nice. Um, what do we got? Garage series flashlight set. So it, oh yeah, very cool. Uh, so it's actually a, uh, you know, a, a mini miniature flashlight set. Uh, th this will definitely get used. Uh, what is this? This is actually half the weight of the box. So this is a disruptor ultra compact planetary transmission. Uh, I think that's a transmission for one of their, um, like one of their excavators or one of their construction sets they have, I think. I'll have to look and see what that is. But basically, it's a planetary transmission um, for something. Again, probably will never, never use it. Um, aluminum, long solid links. You can, I never, you can never have enough links. So I don't mind having a ton of links. Um, what do we have here? Uh, what, what is this? It's a diff cover for something. Oh, for a Yoda axle. Um, I don't have any Yoda axles, but I probably will at some point in time. So that's not not too bad a deal. I've uh, got a nice little tow hook. I'll end up using that for sure. Um, uh, another bigger tow hook hook and uh, and actual some line. What are they calling this? This is the King Kong XL hook, uh, black chrome. So that'll that'll definitely probably end up getting used. Uh, what is what do we got going on here? Um, Predator track rear axle casing. Some more. For whatever this uh, kit for Yoda 2, um, whatever this Predator track is, we got more stuff for it. I don't know what that is. Um, oh, look at this. This is nice. Uh, this might get used, actually. Let's see. Uh, it's the Crawler Water Resistant Brushed Speed Controller. So it's their brushed ESC uh, water resistant. That'll definitely get used at some point. That's nice. Very cool. Uh, what is what do we got here? So one to two ultra compact gear speeder unit for a 540 motor. Hmm. Nice. Okay. I guess it, yeah. So one to two gear. Uh, compact. They're calling it, it's the compact gear. So it, I'm assuming it steps you down one to two. Very nice. Uh, there are a set of king shocks in here. What is the length on these things? Um, because I've got the what is the length on these? Where's it say? Uh, these I might would. I might end up using these. Where's, uh, because I've got the 110. Oh, they're 100. So, you know, I might, these are nice. I might end up using these. I don't know. On the, on the shop truck, shop truck, uh, which is an SCX 10 2, which these would be 90 millimeters taller. I've got what I've got on there is 110, and they're just a hair. I don't know. We'll see. 
But these will definitely get used there's obviously four of them. That's pretty nice. Uh, those will get used for sure. Uh, then we got our tires. Um, what are these? These are the Fuel Mud Gripper uh, 1.7 scale tires. I don't know if I'll ever use these or not, but they'll look good here in the shop. Are these the same? They got two different labels, but I think they're the same tire. Yeah. So they're 1.7s. The Gripper MTs, I guess they're calling them. That's cool. Uh, what is this stuff here? Oh, a mouse pad. Oh, great. Does anybody ever actually use a mouse pad? I don't know. I don't. Um, and then we got, it looks like some, uh, some decals. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know if I would ever use these or not. What is it? What is it actually supposed to be for? Uh, complete graphic decal set for a cruiser body. I mean, I don't have a cruiser body. Uh, that, which doesn't matter. You can still use these, these on anything, I would think. Um, so yeah, so a set of decals and that is it guys. So I guess really the big items are the shocks, um, which will definitely get used on, on something. Uh, the ESC is nice. I definitely, you can always have, you can't, you know, I can always use this for sure. Um, what is the, uh, it's the outcry crawler water resistant. So yeah. For, a br for brushed motors. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, 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 the flashlight set is cool. I'll definitely definitely use that. I'll always use tires. I always like having tires, so that's good. Um, yeah, and then the hooks. I like the tow hooks. You know, so there's a, there's a good bit in here. I love having this kind of stuff. That's always nice to have. Uh, and the links, the links are always nice to have. Uh, the rest of this stuff will look good kind of laying around the shop. These out shafts, I'll, I don't know if I ever get a raft, maybe. Um, but anyways, yeah, I don't know when I'll ever use this. But, uh, I don't know. 350 bucks, you saw it. Uh, I don't know what, I'm sure that all adds up to the, the $500 or whatever it is you're supposed to, you know, the value is supposed to be. Um... Do I, do I think I got $350 worth of value out of this? Uh, I mean, I hate to, I, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Um, I, I wouldn't think so. Uh, I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to do the math. You guys can do the math as far as what the, you know, what you think this all adds up to be. Uh, you know, a set of tires. What's that worth? Um, I don't know what this ESC actually costs at, at RC four-wheel drive, wherever it went. Um, so yeah, you tell me. I'm not sure if that adds up to really be a value for me or not, but I'll leave it up to you. You got to see. I know everybody gets a little something different, so it might not, if you do the, the, the box three, this might not be what you get. And I know they're also throwing in a, uh, they're throwing in a kit in one of them. Uh, that would have been nice. That would have definitely been made it worth, worth the money, but only one is getting a kit in there, uh, getting a kit in the box. But anyways, so that's uh, that was what I got in my my box number three. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you think it was worth it? Um, would you uh, would you order one yourself? Uh, hit the like button if you, if you would. If you want to keep up with the RC shop here, we're gonna get back working on the uh, the shop truck next week. Um, and hit the uh, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. So subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications, and I will see you guys next week. Bye bye.